we're going to the flea market. We'll be looking around the flea market today, guys. Yeah, we are. We're going to look around the flea market. everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right guys and today um, we all bought something yes. at the flea market. Yes we did. It's pretty rare we ever find much at a flea market. Right. Yes. Uh, our flea we don't go very much. Yeah our flea market is kind of uh, it's lackluster sometimes. Like sometimes you can find some good stuff. Sometimes. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you might find a few things. I mean, I only found like three things. Pops found one thing. Tommy found one thing. But it's kind of weird that we actually find something. All of us find yeah. something. So, um, I mean, it, it was a pretty good day. Yeah, it was. Overall. Yeah, it was. Um, you guys seen a little bit of footage. I didn't get a lot of footage because you don't really want to shove your camera in people's yeah. faces and stuff. People, like get, that. Uh, people, people get upset when yeah, you do people, that. People get upset, uh, you know, in the... Uh, we just and we just don't do it. Um, now we'll go with Pops first on what he got. But before I get started on that, as you can tell, it looks like a car. You can buy, you can see it from the from the. <laughs> yeah, from you, the you, you, if, you, if you can't see it, you gotta be blind. It is a car. It really is a car. Um, uh, I I got a little bit of footage of a few of the WCW cars that he had there. Uh, which you were wanting 15 for, not too bad because they're like 20 25 dollars on eBay, but um, they were kind of beat up. Like the one I really was, they hit a Chris Jericho, but it was like really messed up. Uh, a few of the other ones were not too bad shape, but I just don't have no room for them. Um, and like I already got one, it's Glacier. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna pay like 10 bucks for that one, but. Yeah, I was like, eh, I'll pass on. But Pops, what did you end up getting, though? I, I got this 1963 Ford Thunderbird. Now, I'm going to take too much of your time. I'm just going to go right to it and get it done. Now, when I met their mother, she was driving. This right here is black, but the one she was driving was blue. It was a blue Thunderbird. I met her when I was, well, we were both young. As a matter of fact, she was, she was still in school. Uh, me, I was working at a sawmill called Hackman Sawmill, and uh, a friend of mine actually introduced introduced to me and me and my wife, uh, well, soon to be my wife, uh, at the sawmill. She pulled up, and like I said, it, it wasn't black; it was blue, and this blue Thunderbird, and. Uh, she had the, she had her hair, it was long and blonde, she had it all in a curl. But uh, the basis of the thing of it is to be, you know, uh, we we got married, we had two kids, as you can see. Uh, she passed away in 08, November. Uh, sad. September. Yeah, September. It's... It's a, still, you know, to this day, it's tragic. Always will be. But uh, uh, we, uh, she was born in 1963. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can or not, this car it, it, it is dated back to 1963. Uh, and I got it just for, you know, not because it's cool and nothing like that right there, you know. Uh, it, it's just a sentimental thing to me, uh, and I seen it there, 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 there at uh, the flea market, and I said I got to get that car. Now, if it had a blue, and now I'd have picked that, but it wasn't, so I had to take the black. But it's a, the general thing, the shape of it, and everything else is still the same as as a Thunderbird. She was driving the shape of it, the look of it, and everything. Uh, but uh, the, the, the to put it bluntly and easy and fast is I, I bought this car because it, it was the year she was born. And uh, I got a car <laughs> and uh, 
I put them together in our room, uh, in the bedroom. Uh, she was born in 63, I was born in 59. I got a car that's 1959. So uh, they are, they're, they're, they're be put in, in our bedroom, in our house that we, that we live in. Uh, so it's just, a, it, all it is, it's just short and easy. Like I said, a sentimental value and that's just about all there is to say. Yeah. Try to get it for fifteen dollars, but he wouldn't budge off of it. No, uh, yeah, I, 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 I tried to chew him down, but he just wouldn't. He wouldn't budge. So um, this is a uh, a Anson collection, and uh, there's a price tag right here from Kmart for uh, for fifteen bucks. Yeah, but you know that's back when Kmart was around. We don't have a Kmart in our town anymore. Uh, it yeah, you, you see that right here, back there. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's from Kmart, fifteen bucks. But um. This sells on eBay, a 1963 Thunderbird, uh, on eBay, $40, yep. uh, but you only paid 20 I only paid 20 for it. So, uh, I tried, like I said, the boys were there with me. I tried, I tried to get it for 15 he wouldn't budge for that. Uh, he said, no, nah, uh, 20 that's, a, that's what I sell them for. So, <clears throat> And to me, uh, you know, like the sentimental value to me, I paid 20 bucks and got it. So that's a total savings of twenty dollars for that. Um, I'll go ahead and do one of the little things that I picked up for. Go ahead. Uh, this right here is a PlayStation Two game that I picked up. Uh, it was just sitting in a bin with like some DVDs on the like it was sitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> inside the flea market because we have an inside and we have an outside. The inside doesn't change that much. Uh, you might you find, find a few things. You might find a few things, which I only found one All thing right. inside. The rest of this we found outside. Uh, the, everything else actually, we found actually though, if, if, if you ever walk, walk in into the flea market that we have here on uh, the, the inside, the, the, if the table is covered, they will set stuff on the floor. That's yeah. where he found it at. Yeah, on the floor. yeah, this was in a box on the floor with like a bunch of DVDs and shit. And I seen it there. Uh, like at first, like just because of what it is, I was like, eh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to buy it. But um, I looked on eBay because I had my phone with me. And I said, you know what, I'll just look it up see if maybe it might be worth something. And it was worth a little bit than what I, because uh, I, I don't know how much she was going to charge me at first. But this is for the PlayStation 2, is the Bible game made by Crave Entertainment. It is complete with the uh, instruction manual. And the disc is clean. Oh, yeah. That is, like. That is clear and clean. It, it's the blue back, too. It uh, doesn't really mean anything, but. Um, this came out in 2005, it says, and it is complete. Uh, a complete copy sold on eBay for 12 bucks. Uh, I asked, I, I said, uh, how much is the game? And she just looked at it. She goes, uh, a dollar. <laughs> so I only got this for a dollar. So uh, if I wanted to sell it, I can get like at least 11 bucks out of it. Uh, minus shipping, maybe $9. Uh, not bad. Uh, if I if I wanted to sell it, I don't know if I if I want to or not. I mean, it is just a Bible game. It says fun for the whole family up to four players. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, for a dollar, why not, right? Um, so that's a total savings of eleven bucks there right go. there. And I'll show you the other thing I got, and then me and Tom will show the last yeah. thing we got. Uh, this right here is one thing I've seen there, which we passed by it. Yeah. And Tommy goes, Joey, you probably want this. I said, I don't know if I want it because I'm looking at it. And I go, I don't know if I want it. And I said, e even if I do want it, it ain't, a, it ain't a price that he would probably sell it to me for. So we walk by. We walk around. Like, like this is the way I do the flea market. Is If I find something I want right then, I'll buy it. But if it's something I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want it, I'll go by, see if I see something else I want. And then I'll mosey back over there and I might buy it if I, if I don't find anything. Which I didn't, the only thing I found was the Bible game at the time. I said, okay. And uh, then I went by there and I'm just looking at it and I go, uh, maybe, maybe not. And uh, this is what it is. It is a <laughs> skateboard. It's not a real skateboard. It's a, it's a, uh, uh, it's a skateboard. It's a Tony Hawk ride. It's still in the plastic even though like some of the places where like the buttons are here on the side is is open 
Uh, the backing is open where you put... I assume that's a battery, I would assume. Yeah. Uh, it is for the PlayStation 3, which I actually have a PlayStation 3, so I'm actually to play the game if I really wanted to. Uh, but it's still in the plastic, and it comes with the Tony Hawk Ride dongle. Now, this is the thing. If you if you buy this, make sure it comes with the dongle. Because, um, yeah, dongles are uh, harder to find than the actual board. Like, uh, I see I see boards like this a lot. Um, and it, it doesn't come with the dongles. And I'm like, well, it's worthless if it doesn't come with the dongle. So, uh, it does come with the dongle, but if you tell, like, yeah, the cord is kind of frayed right here. It should still play, but it did come with the dongle. So, I haven't tried this out because I don't have the game yet. I ordered the game off of eBay, but he hasn't shipped it yet. Uh, I only paid, like, I think like six dollars for the game so I didn't pay a lot of money for the game but the board right here this sells on eBay for about 25 bucks with the dongle so um, I think I got a pretty good deal on it I was trying to get uh, I was trying to get it for at least ten dollars but he didn't want to yeah he did he, he, he didn't want to sell it for ten yeah. I got it for 15 bucks so not bad including the game I only paid like 21 dollars for it so not too bad yeah, it, 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 it goes. If you come to our flea market, the, the guys at the flea market will not haggle with you. you may, yeah. they, they, they will that. every now and then. Yeah, they will every now and then, but like, uh, like if you try to haggle with them, they don't really want to. Yeah. Uh, but like, there's some people that actually sell the stuff at a decent price yeah. uh, most of the time. So I saved I saved ten dollars getting that getting that uh, Tony Hawk ride board. Yeah. Uh, I haven't played that game ever, so and the board's there, so uh, maybe one of these days we'll we'll, we'll actually play some Tony Hawk Ride yeah. uh, for you guys. Who knows? Um, I, plus, I'm a big fan of the Tony Hawk series, so that that's another yeah. reason why I picked it up. <clears throat> so, not bad. Uh, and the last thing that we got is me and Tommy actually got this from the same seller. Yeah, there was a guy. He was there selling a lot of a lot of. Like a lot he, of games. A lot of games. Uh, he also had like a lot of DVDs as well, but the DVDs were trash. Yeah. And some of the games were kind of trash right. too. Um, I mean, there's a few games there that maybe I should have picked up, but I didn't. Uh, but yeah, like um, yeah, I was just I was going through the games and I'm like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> like they were like. Less than five dollar titles. Yeah, uh, a lot of PS one five dollars. Yeah, and he, and he was one five dollars for. Him. Now, of course, you know me and you know us. If we're not gonna get something on a deal, we usually don't buy it that yeah. much. Um, at least at least a couple dollars off, and I might buy it. <laughs> but if I don't get a good deal on something, I usually pass. And uh, like he had a bunch, like like he had like three sixty games. Uh, not a lot of Xbox games, but he did have a lot of Xbox 360 games, which is something I'm not buying. Yeah, he had, uh, he had a couple of PlayStation 2s. A couple of PlayStation 2s. He even had a WWE All-Stars for PlayStation 2. I was thinking about buying it, but I'd rather have it for PlayStation yeah. 3. So that's why I passed on it. And I was just looking through his games. And then I looked on the other table, and he actually had some N64 games. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'll buy some N64 games. And, uh, you know, they weren't, like, anything, like, fantastic or anything. Um, and uh, I asked him how much for the N64 games. He told me five bucks, and I go, eh. Yeah, some and, of those weren't yeah, he goes, five bucks. He goes, uh, well, I know the uh, N64 games are going up in price. I go, yeah, some of them. <laughs> yeah, some of them. <laughs> Not the ones you have. Yeah, uh, WCW and WR Revenge ain't one of them. Yeah, yeah, like you go to a retro gaming store and pay that, uh, pay a five dollar one, and some of the ones he had were like sun faded and yeah. like not in that great shape. Like some of the uh, the labels were shitty on yeah. it. So I'm like, fuck that. Uh, like, yeah, he had Revenge. I think he had World Tour. Uh, he had a few other ones, but of course I already have World yeah. Tour. I already have Revenge. So, so uh, you know, I'm definitely not going to rebuy them. Um, but. There's one thing me and you found, yeah. and, he, and luckily had two copies yeah. of it. And uh, you want to hold yours up yeah. too? We actually found for the PlayStation 3, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption. A little RDR. So yeah. 
uh, made by Rockstar. Um, now, this is the thing. I actually have this for Xbox 360, but as you guys know, my Xbox 360 crapped out. And this is like my third Xbox 360, and I'm not buying another one. I'm not buying another one. So, fuck Xbox 360. Pops is, Pops is still cool and keeps chugging along, but my, mine doesn't. Mine said fuck it. And That's why up. I told you you should have got a PS3. Yeah, so I should have got a PS3 back in the day instead yeah, of an Xbox. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing, though. Uh, I, I got my Xbox 360 still yet. But we all got PS3s now, and we all got PS4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Joey here has got, has got the biggest game of, of, of uh, systems of all of them. Yeah. yeah. And, and I regret it. I remember I sold most of my PS3. Yeah, Tom, Tommy sold a lot of his PS3 games when he was getting a PS4 yeah. to buy a, P a few PS4 games, and Tommy regrets by, uh, selling regrets a lot of them. Regrets a few that I got rid of and this was one of them. Yeah, that was one of them. Uh, that, this was one of them and so was the NCAA basketball. Yeah, so, yeah, regret selling a lot of your... That, 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 that's why you should never sell some of your games yeah. to buy another system. Yeah. Because uh, you will end up uh, missing them. Regretting some of them. Uh, now, we do have Red Dead Redemption 2 for the uh, PlayStation Great 4. Great game. Great game. This is the first one. Yeah, and we ha I, I had to get this and, back. And, and you know, you know, going back, you know, to Red Dead Redemption Two, you know, I, 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 to one, I, I didn't know that that if it's, that that one of the characters played both two dual parts in one and two. Dutch, he was also in one. And, and the reason why we know that right there is is because if you go on YouTube, you know, you, you see the actual guy guys that did the voices behind the characters, mm -hmm. and the one that played Dutch, he played both. One and two. Now, Tommy, uh, is yours complete as well? Yes, mine is complete also. Now, the only thing that's missing is the uh, poster, yeah. but that's not too much yeah. of an issue. Yeah, that ain't uh, an issue. But, you know, it does come with the manual, though, at the most, so that's not an issue. Uh, the disc, mine is flawless. Tommy's has a little bit of uh, fingerprints, and fingerprints dust. and a little bit of dust. But you could easily wipe that shit off. Yeah, well, because I bought mine first. And uh, I was looking around, and yeah. I was like, well, if, it, if it's still there, I might buy it. Yeah, so Tommy walked around again, and, and he ended up buying it. Uh, yeah. And as you guys know, this is actually, like, like even this one for PS3 and Xbox 360, they this still want 15 to $20 oh, yeah. for it. Yeah, they still want that. Uh, it sells on eBay for about 15 bucks all the time, and even if you go to GameStop, and we went to GameStop. Oh, yes, we did. They wanted twenty five bucks for yeah, this Red game. Game if, Redemption. If it's PS three or Xbox, yeah, that's right. They still want like twenty five bucks for this game, and not only this, but even, the, even the uh, even the game uh, game exchange wants the same damn price. Yeah, they want like twenty for it. So, I mean, damn, like, it, and and I understand this is a damn great game. If you guys ever played it, especially if you want to start, yeah, like even if like even at this time you can get. Red Dead Redemption 2 for at least $50 now, sometimes even $40 if yeah. you catch it on sale, but um, if you guys ever want to play this one and then play the second one, definitely suggest it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, on eBay, and we're going to just go with eBay prices, it sells for around $15, yeah. so it actually sells less than sometimes in stores. Uh, a complete copy sells for 15 bucks. Yeah. Tommy, what do we pay for these? $5. <laughs> 5 bucks. Which is hey, not bad. Hey, 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 Charles, $5. Five dollars. Five dollar, man. Five dollars. <laughs> oh, and, and can I tell them about this upcoming video? You're going to love it, man. <laughs> yeah, the upcoming five dollar video. Right? Yeah, the, an upcoming five dollar video is going to be coming to old, old Detroit natives way here. Uh, which, we, which actually, uh, Tommy's thinking about doing this video. Uh, now, but. Now, we will probably have to post this going, on probably it's, Facebook. It's going to have to be on Facebook. It's, yeah. it's a Facebook exclusive. Yeah, it's going to be a Facebook exclusive video. You guys can check it out on our Facebook, yeah. facebook.com slash wrestling rampage too. Because That's the only way you're going to be able to see that video. Yeah, because of maybe copyright reasons. Yeah, and I ain't got time to fuck with schmuck copyrights. Yeah, so, right, right here on YouTube. Yeah, so, so it's going to be a Facebook exclusive. Which is coming up soon. Which is coming up soon. You're going to love so, it. 
So go like us on Facebook. You guys can see. Yeah, you'll see that on. video. And by the way, you can watch the WrestleMania 34 uh, reaction on there. Yeah, uh, which that we, we got did. that we got copyrighted for. Yeah, Here's your copyright, bitch. Uh, so yeah, picking this up for five bucks a piece. So we only paid ten together. Uh, this sells on eBay for thirty dollars for two oh, yeah. copies. So save twenty bucks getting yeah. this at yeah. uh, the flea market. That's why I said you could always yeah. find yeah. some good stuff. Well, me, well, me and Joey. Now found once this. again, th this is from the guy that was selling a bunch yeah. of these. Trash now this games. was worth the five bucks. Yeah, this was worth. The this five was the only thing that was worth the five bucks. He yeah. goes uh, five bucks. Sure. Here, uh, this gave fifteen. Work fifteen now, twenty. It, but it, I ain't gonna it, tell you. Guys, guys, don't know if you guys don't don't play the game or whatever. Or don't know don't know the history behind it or whatever. You know. Now, Red Dead Redemption 2 takes you back to, wh to where it all began. Mm -hmm. And this right here, Red Dead, Redemption, Red, Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption, takes you back to after it was all done, which is, which is something. And that's what I don't understand about, about some games. They do this right here and they do that. You know, I, me, and I, and I know you know why they do it and stuff like that right there. But to me, I, I, th I think they ought to put that right there as the first one, and then Red Dead Redemption 2 would, would have been with Marston. Yeah. But they didn't do it that way, and sometimes that's the way they did it. Highly play. recommend the game if you guys never but played it. But both games, fucking killer. Yeah. yeah, so, guys, at the flea market today, with Pops' mall car, the Red Dead Redemption 2s, the Bible game, and the Tony Hawk ride board, we would have spent 107 bucks. Yeah. We're going to go for that. And of course, as you guys know, right here on the Wrestle Rampage channel, we ain't yeah. paying that. No. No. Today, at the flea market, we paid 46 bucks. Yeah, $46. Now, of course, this is just difference between us. Pops yeah. paid 20 Yeah. I paid, let's see, 15 20 21 bucks, And then Tyler paid 5 because he's a $5 man. Well, I did $5. <laughs> How <laughs> often was this? And of course, you're the $5 man. Well, you're damn right. <laughs> uh, you'll love that. <laughs> so... Yeah, we only paid forty six bucks. You see, you see, we we are low budget here. I, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, only guy guy get hot, hot, hot budget is our host on the Who Knows Wrestling. As a matter of fact, we already explained that right there. You half half what we get goes to him for his wardrobe. No doubt. Uh, Great guy though. Great guy. Total savings of sixty one bucks. Sixty one dollars. Yes. So go to your flea markets. That, yeah, uh, go to your flea markets, yeah. your pawn shops. Even you know, your dingy garage sales. It's, garage it's, sales. You don't want to go to our garage sales. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry. You know, you can dig all you want to. You know, you know, we say it a lot. You know, there's a treasure in much trash. But we met the trash and we dug and all we got was trash. Like I said, yeah, most most of the time our yard sales are trash. <laughs> Every once in a while you might find something. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing I ever found at a, at a yard sale recently was the Wii U. That's the biggest thing I found. And the Nintendo games. Uh, and the Nintendo games. Even though, like, I got the better deal on the Wii U yeah. than I did on the Nintendo games. Yeah, but we, still. You know, we discussed this right here and everything like that right here. We, th we thought, you know, you know, who we let, you know, like you said, we're well, no, this, this is this motherfucker. Yeah. I get his ass up. I'm like, Pops, let's, let's, go, let's go to some garage sales and yard sales. That's right. Why? We ain't going to find that. And he <laughs> chose <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but but you see, the thing of it is, we talked and we discussed. We we you know, like I said, we live in the we live what you might call a ghetto. The ghetto. But anyway, we thought, hey, why don't we do a different thing? Why don't we go to the rich people's houses? They had yard sales. Now now we went to their yard sales, and to come to find out, they 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 don't have no more good trash than the ghetto people do. No doubt. But if you guys enjoyed this flea market video, give us a thumbs up. Now, sadly enough, didn't get a lot of footage there, yeah. but it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, just because just I don't like to bring my camera out and film because people get fucking paranoid. Yeah. Uh, people, yeah. uh, people think uh, people think maybe they're when we were spying on them, or they got something to hide and don't want nobody to know. Yeah. So, but yeah. I th I thought we picked up some damn good stuff, especially on the cheap. You yeah. Know? I only spent 20, $21, Pops only spent 20 and Tommy only spent 5 So, you know, that, that shows you, you can go to a flea market, spend $20, and actually make money even if you yeah. want to sell stuff. Yeah. Like, this is 5 bucks. you know, I can sell it online for, like, anywhere from 15 to $20. Definitely make my money back. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the Bible. Ain't going to happen. No, because I've been wanting to get this, yeah. but, but, like, going to uh, GameStop, $20, 25 I'm like, no. Nah. Fuck that. Five bucks? Yeah, you can have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, happy, happy with everything we got? Uh, yes. 
So make sure you guys share all of our social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Russell Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you each and every day right here for one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.